everybody and welcome back to another one of my videos. Today I'm down at my allotment again and what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be planting some of my um, carrots and my turnips I've, out. I've got other things to plant out but I have to watch my back work at the moment after digging up that top bit. On the, on the last video you saw me digging that top bit, my back ain't recovered from that yet so I have to be careful. So I've dug up this bed, just going to level it out. So that I can get um, it nice and level. Because my carrots and that, they should have gone out already but because um, I'm doing other things as well. They've been in the greenhouse for how long now? Get all these root things out. More or less got that level or to where I want it. You can see it's nice, nice dirt down there. These beds were pre-dug for me when I got the allotment, so that's what I'm just working with. Right, so I've got that in. So what I've got, I've got some galvanised posts because I'm still going to put um, netting over this because I know what these, so I've got one in each corner. I'm going to put these in and then I'll be back with you in a minute. And so I've dug over the bed and I've got the hoops or the netting to go on. So what I'm going to put in first is my... These are snowballs, as you can see they should have gone out ages ago. But I'm just gonna get them in now, so that they're out of the way. Just gonna pick off all the ripe, ripe leaves so that just the uh, other ones are left on it. So I'm going to get these in and once I get these in I'll be back with you in a minute when I'm doing the other thing. Everybody, so I've got my um, turnips in and I've got my carrots in. That's all my back is going to allow me. I was going to try and get my um, spinaches and my rest of my broccoli in here but I would have to um, maybe ex get a longer netting to stop the snails because I don't want them as like how everything's coming along nicely in there I don't want them to be coming and helping themselves when they didn't plant anything which they seem to like to do so we've started our planting now we've got our brassicas in our turnips and things I haven't seen any swedes someone said to me that swedes don't grow down down here but if I see any I'm gonna get a get some and put them in and see what happens because sometimes people just like to talk and and they haven't tried it themselves but those those are what's in the carrots and everything I've still got um, spinach and broccoli to go in then I've got my pumpkins and everything to go in at the top so what I'm going to do is water these in so I hope you all like this one please remember to like share and subscribe tell a friend to tell another friend if you want to leave any comments leave a comments in the comments section don't just watch subscribe to the channel we we need you all on board it helps us we answer questions as they come in because we're slowly coming off of the other platforms and just answering questions on YouTube which is think is more beneficial for us and more easier for us to answer people from there. So I hope you're all in God enjoying your garden. Those who had sweet potato slips from me, I hope they're they're doing okay and coming along nicely. So um, I hope you got something nice and deep like I've got. I'm going to be um, putting those in the polytunnel next time I come down because I'll really can't do nothing more right now apart from just water this in so I hope your you, your sweet potatoes are doing as well as well I've brought a couple down there which I showed you early just to see how they're doing the polytunnel make sure that they're all right um, to get acclimatized and then what I'll do I'll 
do I'll sort them out and bring the, the rest down. I'm going to be putting some in maybe in, in pots pots along in different places. I'm going to be putting some pots of um, sweet potatoes and different things in some things still in containers. I'm going to make use of it. You can see I've, I've strimmed down and everything uh, but you can see as soon as you string down and the rain hits it the grass is back again so I've just got to keep on top of that it, so thanks for watching and I hope you all enjoy your garden season and I'll see you all on the next one thank you